Hello, I'm Tamara, and today we are going to sew a table runner. This table runner uses border fabric, which creates this beautiful look here. And the amount of fabric that you need for this project will be a yard and a half of fabric. You will be able to get two table runners like this, as well as bonus hexagon table toppers. So let's jump into this tutorial and get started. When you're looking for fabric, look for something that has a really busy print. Flowers work the best. I'm not a huge fan of flowers, so I looked really hard for a small print like this one here. The trucks are small enough that when you cut your corners here, they don't look too funny spliced up. If you choose a print that's too large, something like this fabric here, when you end up splicing your corners, it just looks funny. So larger print border fabrics will not work that well for this table runner. Look for smaller print fabrics. You will need a yard and a half of border fabric, batting, and backing fabric. Now depending on the border fabric that you end up choosing, it might end up a different size due to the repetitive pattern. The pattern that I'm working with measures at 8 inches high for the border. Other fabrics that I've worked with in the past have measured at 9 and a half inches high. So depending on the height of your border, it will end up determining the height and the width your table runner ends up being. Start by cutting out two strips of your border fabric. Sometimes you'll end up cutting off a section at the very edge. For myself, I'm cutting off the little gumboot strip there so that I can start with the trucks being the bottom of my fabric and just work your way all the way up cutting those two strips. Once you have your two border strips cut out, then it's time to lay them right sides together, making sure that both of your top pieces are matching up together. So my gum boots are laying on top of each other. Then just trim the edge so that you've got a nice straight edge to start with. Now it's time to make three 60 degree cuts. You can do this by following the line on your mat or a 60 degree line on your ruler or even better if you own the 60 degree triangle ruler which I will link to down below that will also help now because I don't want us to waste any fabric I would like you to grab a little measuring gauge and measure a quarter inch in on the bottom edge of your fabric before you make your first cut that way this scrap piece of fabric that we're cutting off can be used for our hexagon table topper later on so make your first 60 degree cut from the edge of that quarter inch marking upwards. Then move along cutting out two more triangle pieces. So you'll just line up your ruler right up to the edge of your fabric and cut a nice perfect triangle. Now as you can see here these two pieces you will put aside for our hexagon table topper and then this center triangle lines up perfectly with the edge of our table runner. Then move along to the opposite side of your table runner, trim the edge so it's nice and straight and then measure that quarter inch in before making your three cuts. Then put aside those two sections of fabric that will go with our hexagon table topper and keep the triangle that matches up to your table runner. Now it's time to open up our fabric so that you will see where the middle will line up and grab your triangles that you put aside and just fit them in like a nice little puzzle piece. Then flip your triangles so they lay right sides together, pin across that edge, and then sew a quarter inch seam along both edges. Try to line up the border prints with each other as well. That way once you've sewn that quarter inch seam and you open up the fabric, all of these lines will match up nicely. Then take these strips to your iron and just press open all four seams. Now, I believe if you have a 60 degree triangle ruler, you won't end up with this gap, but if you use a 60 degree line like I did with a quilter's ruler, then you will end up with this gap. So just lay your two pieces of fabric together, line up that edge and cut around a quarter inch section of fabric off of this table runner's edge. That way you have a straight line from point to point. Now it's time to pin across that long edge and sew another quarter inch seam all the way across. Press that seam open and you have made the top of your table runner. Now before I show you how to finish up this table runner, I'm going to show you how to put all of those scrap pieces together into a hexagon table topper. And then we will use the same method to quilt both items together. Now grab all of your scrap pieces and you will have two pieces that will still need to be sewn together to create a triangle. Pin across their edge and sew a quarter inch seam across both of those pieces. Press open that seam and now you've 
you've got your two extra triangle pieces. It's time to match up all of your triangle pieces to form a hexagon. Try to make sure that both of the triangles that have that extra little seam in them end up laying across from each other. Then work from the middle triangle outwards to sew three triangles together on each side, sewing quarter inch seams along all edges. Then match up the middle points of both sides, pin across and sew a final quarter inch seam, creating your hexagon. And now it's time to do the quilting. So grab your batting fabric and lay your backing fabric on top of that. Then take your table topper, lay it right sides on top of your backing fabric. Pin all the way around and then trim around the outer edge, cutting away all of the excess fabric. Then add two pins along the long edge, marking about a four inch opening that you will not sew. So you will start at one of those pins, sewing a quarter inch seam around the entire project, ending at the next pin. Now it's time to trim away all six points before turning our project right side out. Then take a chopstick or the end of a pencil and just gently nudge those points out before taking to your iron and pressing all edges flat. Make sure to fold in the edges of the opening as well, pinning that shut before sewing an eighth of a seam around the entire outer edge. Now for the table runner, that is all of the seams that I sewed to finish it up. That way it can be a reversible table runner. Now for the hexagon table topper, I pretty much did everything exactly the same, except I added a few extra seams stitch in the ditch style. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment down below. I would love to help you out with anything you're struggling with and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss future tutorials. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.